Hi everyone, I'm Michael and this is Ultimate Tech Hub. On this episode, we're going to show you how to install smart standard hardware on a barn door just like this one. So guys, today's video is all about the hardware for this barn door. We have done a full video, about 17 minutes, on this entire barn door build. However, I thought we'd go ahead and do a shorter video of the installation of the smart standard hardware. Let's get started. This is the smart standard hardware priced at $60. And this is the handle. It's not from smart standard, but it's a very nice handle. And here's our hardware from smart standard. This particular kit comes with just the rails, the stops, and the hangers. It also comes with different kinds of bolts. So if you're gonna put this barn door into studs, wood studs, or if you're gonna put it into concrete, the rail is eight feet long and it comes in two four foot sections that will have to connect together. And I'll show you that in a minute. All the hardware for this barn door is very durable. It's thick, it's heavy, it's definitely industrial, so it's going to hold up well. So after we read the instructions, we decided to put up a header board that we'll attach the rail to. And the main reason why is above our door, we do not have studs that are 16 inches on center. And if you don't have that situation, you're going to need a header board too. And we decided to buy a header board with the exact same wood we used with the barn door. So it looks the same. Let's go ahead and put the rail together. We'll connect these two four foot sections together like this. Make sure all the screws are tight. And here's our header board that we purchased. We had it cut to 8 feet 6 inches and we sanded it and we also sealed it as well. So before we put the header board up, we're going to go ahead and mark the hole locations for the rail. We measured 3 inches from the edge and started our rail. This will keep the rail centered on the board. Now I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill a hole in the top left of this header board. So when I get the header board up, I can go ahead and screw it into the stud. And before you put this header board up, make sure you find all the studs that are on that wall where your header board's going to be. I have five studs that I'll be screwing this header board into. I'll be securing the header board with three and a half inch wood screws, and I'll do two screws per stud for a total of ten screws. This should provide plenty of strength for the barn door. As you can see, I'm doing this by myself, and I wouldn't recommend doing this, um, but I had no choice. So, as you can see, I had a couple extra boards, and one of these was cracked, and the other one I messed up with a tongue and groove. So, um, I used this to prop up the header board for myself, and then now I can find the stud, and go ahead and drill it, and put my first screw in. This is probably the most important step. You must attach the header board to studs. Now adjust the right side of the header board and check for level. Next I drilled and attached the wood screw to the right side of the header board. Now I can remove the support beams. And it looks good. It looks straight. Next attach all the screws to the studs. I position the top and bottom screws about one inch from the edge of the board. This provides strength to the entire board and allows room for the rail bolts. Here is the mark for the rail bolt. The rail bolt needs to be 1 and 11 16 plus the height of the door, which is 108 inches, plus 3 eighths of an inch, which allows for the carpet. For a total of 110 and 1 16th inches, I added another 1 16th of an inch because our carpet is kind of tall. Now start drilling the rail bolt holes. Make sure the hole is a little smaller than the bolt. 
The bolt needs to be screwed in very tightly. So when drilling, less is definitely best. After all six holes are drilled, install the rail. I start left to right, do not tighten the bolts all the way. I use my socket wrench to screw in the bolts. Make sure the rail is level after each bolt is inserted. And remember, hit the subscribe button. It's really important because it keeps this channel going. I almost fell off the ladder when the bore fell down. It was a good catch with the foot though. <laughs> and at this point I figured out the bore was not needed. So at this point in the video, I'm going to install all six bolts onto the header board. It's best to use a socket wrench, it goes a lot faster. For time purposes, I'm going to shorten this part, but if you want to watch the full length video, make sure and check out my barn door build, the full 17 minute version. Remember to check for level. And now go back and tighten all six bolts. I did a test hang to see if it would hold. It held no problem and I weigh about 190 pounds. Let's attach the two hangers next. The center of the top bolt needs to be two inches from the top of the door. And you should center the hanger in the middle of the plank. When you drill this hole, it should be slightly bigger than the bolt. The bolts that come with these hangers are about a quarter inch too long. So you have two options. One is to cut the bolt or you can just add some washers. I chose the easiest option, just add a few washers to each side. Use a wrench to tighten the bolts, but don't over tighten, you could crack the wood. Hangers are hung. Here is the two sided handle, it's an easy install. Choose the handle location and drill two holes that line up with the holes in the handle. I chose the handle height at 42 inches, which means the middle of the handle is 42 inches from the bottom of the door.
tighten the bolts with the provided Allen wrench. Let's go hang our new barn door. She looks great. Our new barn door is pretty heavy. So I need my wife and my son to help me hang it. Once the barn door was standing straight up, it was pretty easy to put on the track. High five and hugs. It looks great. The last thing to do is put the stop on and I'm gonna put some covers over these screws. I want to thank everyone for watching and if you like the video give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it hit subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching.